So the first thing that they showed was just a little quick teaser of Starfield. Um, I don't know except what to say about the trailer itself, except that there's a, uh, it's in space and they have sandwiches. Uh, and did you guys see anything else of note in that that teaser? No, I don't know anything about the game more than I did from the last time they talked about it. I know it's called Starfield, and I know there's a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, I think the big. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I think Bethesda, like a developer, has basically described it as Skyrim in space. Yeah, and I mean they've they they've announced they worked on the new engine and they've updated the engine, so hopefully it's not as janky. Finally fixed all them problems, but <laughs> will some of the charm be lost along the way? I don't know. Without that jank, I look forward to the jank sometimes. <laughs> right. Um, they did release uh, announce the uh, release date of it, which is 11 11 2022, which is exactly 11 years after Skyrim. I thought that was <laughs> an interesting uh, note there. Everything's 11s for them. It's their big game, so maybe this will be good. And it is Xbox exclusive, uh, which kind of was a point of contention for a while after they bought it, or Sony and them merged. Sorry, Microsoft and them merged. Um, whether or not these new Bethesda games would be first party, and it looks like they are exclusive thus far. Yeah, if Bethesda ends up leaving Sony out in the cold, Sony's going to be having some problems. Yeah, it raises the question, if they're willing to you know, not release Starfield on PS5, where does that leave Elder Scrolls VI? Uh, where, <laughs> like, are they going to you know, use their leverage to force Game Pass on Sony's console? Are they going to, uh, you know, just say, sorry, uh, fans of Elder Scrolls, you got to buy our console or maybe their streaming stick or whatever they're, they're working on that they announced, whatever that ends up being. Yeah. So it's looking uh, like Microsoft might be just playing the long game here for with all the exclusives and the day one game pass, it seems less they, they care about console sales and more they care about game pass subs. I mean, that's right. the way they should be anyway, because that's the stuff that's going to lead people to right now. It's what leads people to getting an Xbox. Right. Uh, yep. And then down the road, either forcing themselves onto the Sony platform or just dominating that game space. Exactly. Skyrim, Fallout 76, and ESO are all coming to Xbox Series S and X. They said that ESO is coming to PS5 update, but not Skyrim. That was interesting to me. So it be, remains yet to be seen if they yeah, I, do that. Yeah, I mean, it was the Xbox conference, so we don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, they could announce it at a later date or on a different yeah. stream. Yeah. Yeah, because I think ESO, um, the Zenimax Media, actually said it separately. And yeah. Bethesda has yet to make a comment on Skyrim and the Fallout right. 76 update, if anybody cares. But, I, uh, I know the if, update's coming to PS4, but is there a PS5 version? We don't. Right. I haven't heard No, they haven't said anything about it yet. But um, I know this, if it doesn't come to the PlayStation 5, they're, they're, they're making a move. It's a signal in the air. Yeah, yeah. Big it's, it's it's like be be prepared. We're not putting Elder Scrolls Six on the PlayStation. Yeah. 